Hey YouTubers, this is going to be a bit of a strange video because I can't really back up a thing I'm saying. As some of you may know, Nintendo have announced that they are remaking Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. This was the first Zelda game I ever played. I got it like when I was really young, I must have been about seven at the very least. And I remember playing it for years. I still say I still enjoy it now. I haven't actually played the Game Boy for quite a while. It was one of my favourite games at the time. And there are many things I remember about it. I remember not knowing what I was doing the first time, not realising what a Zelda game was and just sort of gradually getting into how it worked and where I had to go and what I was doing, what I was doing wrong, that sort of thing. I remember going to places for the first time and different reactions to them. It was all sorts of stuff there. But one of the things I remember about the game is something that I have never ever been able to repeat. And this is where this video gets strange because the rest of it is going to basically be this thing that I can't prove happened, honest it did. I was basically up to the part where I just got in the tail cave key. This was the first time I'd done this. This was literally the first time I got this far, by the way. And instead of going to the tail cave like I was meant to, I just like cut the flowers or whatever they are down, you know which ones I mean. I cut them down, I just carried on going up past the mysterious wards out of that to the Gompongo swamp area. I was there basically. And there wasn't really much I could do because I didn't have anything that would allow me to go further, so I didn't have much to do there, but I was there. And I fell down a hole that was either outside Mr. Wright's house or it was outside the telephone booth. I think it was the telephone booth, but I'm, I'm not sure. And instead of respawning where I came in or dying like I normally do, I actually landed in another place. And these aren't the kind of holes where there's supposed to be something below them. They are just there to hurt you, basically. So that isn't meant to happen. And it was years ago, so I obviously can't remember exactly what was there. But from what I remember, it didn't look like anywhere I'd been before. I can't remember what music was playing when I fell down there. It might have been the usual sort of cave music, the sort of da 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 da. It might have been that, but I'm not sure. It might not have even had music at the time. I was basically wandering around it, not knowing how I got there. <laughs> I knew how I got there, you know, not knowing what it was. And I sadly can't remember exactly what the enemies looked like. I think they were probably unrecognisable. I don't think they look like things that usually aren't enemies, you know, like the like the human characters, they might have done, and I'll come up to why that might have been in a minute, but I think they were just unrecognisable. In fact, I'll just, I'll just say now, they were probably sort of glitch marks, because I'm sure this was a glitch, but I don't know how it caused one. But the things I actually do remember with certainty is that I just kept going, and I eventually ended in a room where there was a fairy, and it was the usual fairy music playing. I can't remember if I actually had my health restored by her or not, or even if she looked like a fairy, because, you know, glitch stuff, probably. But what I do remember is, even when I left the fairy room, it was still the fairy music playing, like it was just on complete, re it was just on repeat all the way through no matter what room I went in. And I eventually ended in a room where there was something in the centre of it. Again, I'm sorry, I can't remember what it looked like because it was just so long ago. And I walk up to it and it's basically played. I didn't know it at the time because I've not done this yet, but it was basically animated like it is when you pick up an instrument. 
it was animated like that. And I'm not sure if this was the message I got now or whether this was the message I got when the screen faded to white. I think it was the message I got then as I picked it up. And I got the message, Bring Bring Uria speaking. And, you know, that's the first telephone line, obviously. And then all this special effects just zoom towards Link and then that was it, fade to white. I'm not sure what happened then. I might have had to switch my Game Boy off. And I have literally no idea how I did any of that. It's obviously a glitch. I realise that now because I've seen other glitch world. You know, I've seen the one where you press up as you fall from the nightmare room in Tail Cave. I've seen the one where you enter the doghouse from the side. I've seen ones that involve screen warping. You know, that thing where you access the map screen as you go onto the next screen and it sends you to the wrong side. And sometimes you can use that to sort of enter doors as you go into the next side so you'll go up and you'll go into the next you'll go into the next screen so i don't know why that's how that's up and you'll press up as you enter the door and you enter the next screen so it takes you into a glitch world so i feel like i went into a glitch world because what i do remember has like the telltale signs of that because i have been in glitched worlds which are usually composed of the dungeons, but they're composed of other locations as well sometimes. And I have picked up what is usually the instrument, but obviously it's replaced by something else and you get the message you're not supposed to have. So in this case I've got Aurea speaking. I have never been able to do this again. I have done all the other glitch rooms I know. I've done all them. And they've all been things I've done deliberately. They've all been things that I've either read about online and tried out for myself, or things that I've done, you know, on purpose, because you know, it's been me faffing about with the screen warp, obviously. The only other thing I've done by accident is the tail cave one, which is, like I say, you fall down the hole and then you press up and enter the room above you. Well, there's no room above you. It's not programmed to have a room above you. That is why it goes wrong, I presume. And I didn't know that was a glitch. I just thought it was like a weird thing that you could do. But this thing, in the Gompongo Swamp, near the telephone booth, I think, I just randomly fell down a hole. As far as I know, I didn't do anything weird. I just fell in. And there I was, in this new world. I don't know what happened. So yeah, this is basically a strange video, I know, because there isn't really anything that I can do to back up what I've done, because I've tried it like several times, and I've never been able to do it. And I don't know if any of you have done this. I mean, this is a shot in the dark, obviously. I don't know if any of you have done this, so, or if you know what I could have done to basically trigger this off. I mean, if there isn't anything, the only thing I can think of is, for some reason, my game just read the wrong part. I don't know why that's the only thing I can think of, is that somehow it read the wrong thing, and maybe it read that I was supposed to fall, into a location but it had gotten it wrong. I don't know if video games do that because they shouldn't do. I've never seen that on any other game. You know, I have never, say, entered a building on another game and found myself in a completely different area. I've never done that. So, basically, your guess is as good as mine. So, YouTubers, how are you all feeling about the new Link's Awakening version then? Do you think it would be better, worse? Do you think it looks good? Is this the game you wanted remaking? Are you hoping to play it? I wouldn't mind playing it, but I can't at the moment. I haven't got a Switch. Do you have any fond memories of Link's Awakening yourself? Do you remember any specific glitches that you enjoyed doing? Or did anything strange happen to you in any game that you can't do again and you just 
Don't know why that is? I am looking forward to hearing your comments. And until the next video, see you around, YouTubers.